Artists, storytellers, beat makers, this is the latest news, deals, and free plugins from the music production world. Universal Audio just dropped a big update to their free DAW, Luna, and it's all about making your DAW feel more like a studio assistant. Remember, this is their totally free DAW. So check this out. Version 1.9 brings in AI-powered tools like voice control, instrument detection, and smart tempo. So now you can say, hey Luna, and it will do something like start recording. This is actually great if you're at your mic or you have a guitar in your hand and reaching for the mouse would take you out of your flow. And get this, they actually work in real time and run locally on your computer. So no cloud processing, no weird privacy stuff or waiting a long time for a response. Okay, so here's what you can do. First up with voice control. You can now talk to your DAW Literally, if you've got an Apple Silicon Mac and just say something like, hey, Luna, start recording, it'll punch in for you hands free. So if you're across the room or behind a drum kit, you can record without running back to your keyboard. Now, right now it supports basic commands like play, stop, record, but this is the early days. Universal Audio says this is just a preview and they're asking for feedback to add more commands and shape where it goes in the future. Okay, next there's instrument detection and this is pretty cool. Luna now listens to the input signal and figures out what you're recording drums, bass, vocals, guitars, keys, and then it automatically names and color codes the tracks and picks the right time stretching algorithm, which could save a bunch of setup time, especially if you're tracking a band or have tons of tracks. Next is Smart Tempo. This adapts the DAW's tempo to whatever loop you drop in, but it gets better. There's a feature called Tempo Listen that actually hears your performance and matches the metronome to however you're playing. And with tempo extraction, you can build a detailed tempo map from a performance, including tempo changes and natural timing. And this is actually great if you wanna preserve the feel of a track, but still edit or arrange a little bit around it. So one thing you need to know is that all these AI features are in something they're calling feature preview mode. You have to enable them manually in the app for now, but you don't need UA hardware to try them. And they're free. So yeah, Luna is now an AI DAW, or is it? What do you think of these features and are they taking DAWs in the right direction? Would you want to talk to your DAW? Comment below. I'll add a link to download Luna free below. Remember, there's also a pro version of Luna which costs money and it just gives you a bunch of plugins basically. The new FL Studio 2025 update is out now and they're getting into AI as well and some beginner friendly tools. First up, there's a new feature called Loop Starter. When you launch a new project, you can pick a genre and FL Studio will preload the channel rack and curate some one-shot samples and start a group. You can instantly tweak the sounds, replace them, or drag the sequence into your playlist and keep building. It's a pretty quick way to spark ideas and it pulls from FL Cloud's sample library, so you've got a lot of material to work with, even if you don't have your own sample packs. Next, they've introduced Gopher, an AI assistant that lives inside your DAW. You can ask Gopher for help with anything FL Studio related, and it'll guide you without opening a browser or taking you out of the session. And this could be really handy for new users who are still figuring things out. Now, this feels more like a help assistant to me, and I kind of think Universal Audio's talk to your DAW thing is kind of cooler. Okay, so what else? The mixer now supports up to 500 tracks and you can dynamically add or remove them as needed, which makes larger sessions easier to manage. Audio clips now let you pitch, stretch, and reverse directly in the clip settings, so edits are quicker and more visual. If you have the all plugins edition, there's a new mastering tool called Emphasis. It's a multi-stage compressor. There's also Mobile Rack, which brings over seven instruments and 29 effects from FL Studio Mobile into the desktop version. Other new stuff includes flex improvements, a baseline generator, a new VFX script plugin for advanced routing, and updated UIs for several classic FL plugins. Now this is a free update from ImageLine, so if you're an FL user, you can grab these features right now. I've got another super useful AI tool from Output. I'll show you that later in the video. 
If you've been eyeing the Oberheim T05 but don't need the keys, the desktop version is finally here. It's called the T05 Desktop Module, and it gives you that classic Oberheim analog sound in a much smaller package. For anyone short on space, but big on synth tones, this is a really cool option. The original T05 was one of the best sounding synths of last year, and this version keeps nearly all of the features, five voices, dual VCOs, a sub per voice, selectable wave shapes, sync and FM, and so much more. You'll still get the sequencer, arpeggiator, vintage knob, and built-in effects too. The main compromise here is size. The version drops the 44-key keyboard and trims the LFO controls into a more compact two-knob setup. It also loses the low split function, but that was tied to the keyboard anyway. For about 1275, you're getting a full-featured Oberheim in a box that takes up half the space. And if you're already working with a controller or prefer desktop synths, this could be the best way to go to get that Oberheim sound. I'll link the new T05 below. Cali Audio just expanded their high-end Santa Monica monitor line with the new SM8. It's a three-way coaxial studio monitor with an eight-inch subwoofer, a paper mid-range driver, and an aluminum dome tweeter. The same coaxial design they use in the independent series, the IN line, but now with a lot more power. That's 300 watts total. And the bass goes down to 37 hertz, and it has a max SPL of 119 decibels. That puts it in main monitor territory for mixing and mastering and immersive work. The big deal here is the DSP. Each speaker has onboard processing with eight band parametric EQ, delays, trims, and even calibration options so you can dial in through Kali software. And get this, it works either online via ethernet or offline with a USB stick so you can manage everything without external processors or plugins. There's also AES EBU support, which makes it easier to integrate with immersive or multi-channel setups, plus mounting points if you want to wall mount your system. Kali says this is their most accurate speaker yet, and it's built to handle pro rooms and workflows without breaking the $2,500 mark. If you've outgrown your Kali LP speakers, the SM8 could be your next step up. Arturia has officially rolled out the Astrolab 1.5 firmware update, and it brings some big upgrades to both the 61 and 81 key versions. If you're not familiar with this, the Astrolab is basically a hardware version of Analog Lab, a standalone instrument that lets you load and play sounds from Arturia's V collection without needing a computer. You can still sync it with Astrolab in the studio, but the point is that you can take this on stage, scroll through presets, and tweak sounds straight from this keyboard. With version 1.5, Astrolab now supports a bunch of new instruments from the V collection, including Augmented Mallets, Yang Z, Jupe 8000V, Mini Brute V, Pure Lo-Fi, Synthex V, and Sem V. There's also a bunch of workflow tweaks. You can now send program change to external gear, lock your ARP chord and scale settings without browsing, transfer playlists to and from Analog Lab, and there's a new factory library and looper demos. The aftertouch feel has been updated as well, and they're also fixing a bug with Piano V. As always, Artoria continues to improve their gear as time goes by. If you want my full review of the Astrolab, you can watch it right here. Question. Has anyone been noticing that my studio monitors have been changing a lot lately? I've been testing some of the most sought after studio monitors in the world for an upcoming video. Stay tuned and let me know if you've seen a monitor that you're really curious about. All right, more AI. Output just added a new tool to their AI assisted sample platform, Co-Producer, and they're trying to solve a problem for producers content ID strikes. You know those strikes that you get when music platforms or social media thinks you've copied an existing piece of music because you used the same sample? The new feature in Co-Producer is called Reimagine and it lets you take any sample and generate endless royalty-free variations that still sound musical but won't get flagged or feel overused. The idea is simple. You like the vibe of a loop, but maybe it doesn't quite fit your track or maybe it's already been used in a hundred other beats. Reimagine keeps the core feel of the sample 
but gives you something unique to drag into your DAW. According to Output, this isn't about replacing creativity, it's about helping real producers stay inspired without getting boxed in by legal issues and repetition. It's currently in beta and part of co-producers subscription plan. So if you're working with sample based tracks and want a safer way to stand out, this might be worth checking out. Now, do you think this is a good direction for AI generated content? Comment below. All right, I've got some deals and a freebie for you, but first, are you thinking about putting your music out there? Well, DistroKid is a simple and fast way to get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, pretty much anywhere. And DistroKid collects earnings for you when anyone plays or purchases your music. It's simple to use and it includes tools to help build your audience. I've created two videos on DistroKid that'll probably answer any questions you have. You can watch them right here. And if you're ready to sign up, use the link below to get 7% off your first year of membership. All right, there's some deals this week. First up, you can get Korg's full collection five for 50% off right now. This is the full collection of all their plug-in synths, vintage stuff and new stuff, including the MS-20, Poly-6, Triton, and tons of other stuff. I actually bought this when it was on sale, so you can get the same deal that I got when I bought it. Next, Sketch Cassette 2 is on sale for $24. I always reach for this plugin when I want to add a little bit of tape saturation or just some tape tape hiss to a track. And don't forget about Eventide's current sale, lots of good deals, including Black Hole and some $9 plugins. And Toman's summer sale is still going on until July 22nd. Lots of hardware and software on sale. I'll link directly to all these deals below the video. Okay, freebies. First up, if you're buying anything from Plugin Boutique this month, you will get Motion Dimension Light for free. It blends delays and some reverbs into rhythmic patterns. Pretty cool. And if you're looking for something totally free, you should check out Fury 68. It's a synth plugin that emulates the Korg Poly 61. It's made by Full Bucket Music, and this plugin version actually gives you higher polyphony, and it's compatible with Mac and Windows. You can download it below totally free. Hey, if you want some free tips on improving your studio and workflow, download my free ebook below. And if you're looking into the Arturia Astrolab, watch my full tour and review right here. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you soon.